Hey everybody, this is Howard Crampton Jr. with Discovering Purpose and Reunite with Passion. The topic I want to introduce today is communication. And I don't know why I keep doing this with my hands. Perhaps it's a great opening. It's a, it's a huge welcoming for you all. Uh, it's about communication and how we communicate. Kind of like I'm doing with my hands right now. Um, are you experiencing problems? Well, if you found this video, I'm assuming that, yeah, you're probably challenged with communication. You're searching around the internet and you're not finding the information that you want. Or perhaps you found some information and it brought you so far, but it didn't really seal the deal. So now you've come across this video to seal the deal. Well, in order to effectively communicate, here is your one tip for today. And believe I'll share tons more of information, but we got to start with what's first, right? We got to start somewhere and that somewhere is with you. And it's right here where you're at right now. So what I want you to do is to take five minutes by yourself in a quiet room or maybe you're going to be taking a bath or you're going to go for a walk in the park or sit down in the park and you can meditate while you're walking by the way but I want you to identify what are the patterns that are leading to this miscommunication well what do you mean patterns I want you to understand what you're doing with your body language when you're approaching somebody to communicate pay attention how you're approaching them are you approaching them really strong and they get closed off or maybe you're approaching them real soft and kind of timid to which you're giving away tons of power to these people and they think, oh, well, they're kind of scared. They can sense that kind of thing. I have control of the situation. I don't have to talk if I don't want to, right? Uh, also, what is your focus? What's your intention in trying to communicate? Because a lot of times we communicate and what we initially want to talk about, <laughs> we end up losing track and going somewhere completely different, right? And we end up going into this argument and we're not even arguing about what we wanted to talk about in the first place. So pay attention, what's my focus? What is my intention in communicating and stay on track with that? And the third thing in identifying these patterns is uh, your language. Identify what words are being spoken that might allow people to open up and certain ones that are being closed off. And we're gonna go deep into that too with their six human needs as to understanding what people value most and understanding what they value most, then you can communicate these words to them in a way that they are open, they're vulnerable, they're listening, okay? So again, your body language, your physiology, how you're coming off, your focus or intention, as well as your language patterns. Take a moment, do that. Go to realloveandmarriage.com and share your comments over there. Subscribe to the blogs and post your experiences. Or if you have any questions, share your questions there as well. I will answer them for you. And it also allows other people too to share their questions and to not feel alone either. I know that you may be feeling alone in certain areas and certain challenges you experience, but believe me, there are so many others out there who experience the same problems, the same situations, and when they see you post, they feel, wow, I'm not alone. Maybe we can talk, maybe we can build a community here too and support each other along the way. Okay, so go to real love and marriage, and is spelled out, A-N-D, reallovandmarriage.com, or give me a call at 661-524-6093, and I look forward to hearing from you. Take care, cheers.